watching, you watching, you watching. You watching, you watching, you watching. You watching, you watching, you watching. You watching. Hey everybody, this is Tim from Dropkick Murphys. You're watching Loud TV. All right, so uh, let me know about the, the two or three previous years. Whew. Yeah. Uh, it seems that uh, the world uh, <laughs> had known uh, something specific. Yeah. Um, how, did you, how did you fight or how did you... So <clears throat> we finished. Um, we finished a European tour. Um, we got home the very end of Feb, like the last day of February um, of 2020. Then we were supposed to do our hometown St. Patrick shows um, uh, a couple weeks later, uh, and then within that time, everything got shut down. When those shows got canceled, I knew. Uh, it was serious because we don't cancel for anything. <laughs> so when I got the call saying that St. Patrick's Day wasn't happening, I said, Um But uh, so we did uh, that St. Patrick's Day, we did our first live stream. And then, um, you know, fast forward through the next year, we did two more, I think, um, and, uh, Fenway Park and then another St. Patrick's Day. and. Um, uh, and then uh, right before we left for that tour in um, early 2020, we had started recording what became Turn Up That Dial. So we had, already, we had already tracked a number of songs for that with the intention of coming home and finishing after St. Patrick's Day, and then we weren't able to do that. So we weren't able to reconvene and finish that album until the fall of 2020. Um, and. Uh, so then that was finally wrapped up uh, by the winter, and then it came out in April 2021. And um, we did another live stream for the release of that. Um, but normally we would have hit the road and gone everywhere, and, and we just weren't able to do it. It was, it was crazy. Um, so we, you know, we, we filled the time with some stuff, but it was definitely, um, it was definitely the, most, uh, the most sort of sedentary that the band has ever been in its existence, you know. Um, and, uh, and at first it was nice to kind of take a break for a second because, you know, I've been in the band for 19 years now and, and you know, we've never stopped, never. And, um, and so for the first couple months it was like, yeah, all right, I'll sit at home. And then it quickly, quickly got pretty dull uh, sitting around home and I think all of our respective significant others came to us and said, you know, this relationship working is predicated on the fact that you leave home uh, a lot, so you need to get out of here. So uh, once everything fired back up, uh, I think everybody was excited. Um, so we're, gl we're so glad to be back out. But yeah, that was the last two and a half years or whatever. Um, we started uh, we started hitting the road again when we were able to go out with Rancid um, last summer. And then we just did our first St. Patrick's tour since um, March of 2020 uh, this year. And uh, now, thankfully, we're back over in Europe, finally. Uh, do you consider that uh, your uh, album that you, you, you released uh, last year, yep. uh, was it uh, maybe more written or because I, I interview a lot of bands that they re-recorded a lot of stuff mm -hmm. because they had time, mm -hmm. uh, they re-recorded vocals or they had more, more time to right. have reflection you yep. know, on, on the material. Yep. So was it the case for you? Uh, in some cases it was, um, there were, we hadn't even finished tracking all of the songs that we wanted to do um, when everything shut down. We still had some songs to go. So yeah, some work was definitely done um, uh, with the extra time. Um, it's entirely possible that some songs would have been slightly different uh, had we done it when we were, you know, just done it in the time frame that we initially, initially planned. Um, having all that time to sit with it sit with the material, some things definitely changed. Um, um, but nothing, nothing too dramatic. Um, if anything, it was nice to have more time to kind of figure out what you wanted to do, you know. 
the difference, I mean, we'll write and record. It's rare that we play new songs before we release them. Uh, we will on occasion, but it's, but it's kind of rare. The nice thing about playing new songs live is like, you sort of figure out what you want to do with them, you know? And we don't really give ourselves that chance all the time. So uh, there are some songs where like, you know, we put out the record and then, you know, two months later we're on tour and I'm, you know, we're midway through a tour and one night it occurs to me to play something slightly differently and I'm like, I wish I, that's what I did. I wish that's what I did. But, uh, so yeah, it was nice to have a little extra time to reflect on the things that we had done already and, um, uh, but nothing too dramatic as far as changes. Yeah. Is it hard for, for a band like you that, uh, of course, you, 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 you're touring nonstop. Is it hard sometimes to, um, to have a break in, in the band to, to write music? Usually... You don't, you don't write uh, on tour. No, we don't really write on tour. We've tried before, but it doesn't really, you know. It's, we're better at writing uh, at home. So typically what we'll do is we'll schedule, uh, like we'll figure out ahead of time when we want to uh, start working on new stuff. Um, and go into the studio. So normally it's mapped out pretty good. Um, because we tour so much, that's kind of how we have to do it. Um, so, uh, you know, um, usually it'll, you know, at some point before we get too into it, we'll start coming up with some ideas. And then once it seems like we have a few ideas where the ball is rolling, then we'll schedule some time to say, all right, we're going to sit and write for this month here. And then we're going to go with the intention of going to the studio at this point. And so we'll have to schedule, we have to schedule it uh, based on how much we're on the road, really. So with, um, uh, yeah, the album was released uh, one year ago. Mm -hmm. How do you consider the, the, this album in the, in the discography of the band? I, I love the turn up the, that dial, this last record. I think that... Um, over the years, you know, we, there, it used to be that we would have like an Irish song and a punk song and a rock song, and, and uh, we got to a point where we got pretty good at sort of jamming all those things together. Um, this album, I grew up, the reason that I play accordion and tin whistle and all that stuff is because I was such a massive Pogues fan when I was growing up. The Pogues were my favorite band ever, ever. And um, this, to me, is the most Pogues-y sounding album that we've ever done as far as instrumentation and, and, and that sort of thing. Um, and I was, I was so over the moon about it when we, when we finished it. I thought it was a really, I thought it captured a really cool um, uh, version of, uh, of what the band does. Yeah. Um, yeah, is it hard to, yeah, to, not to be cliche and to put a rock song, you know, mm -hmm. uh, you know to, to... Yeah, I mean, at this point, uh, you know, we have a pretty good idea of what we want to do um, for each record. Um, we try to stay away from stuff that feels like that, like a little cliche or whatever. Um, uh, but, um, you know, it's, it is tough because we're so close to it. Um, that's why it's nice to have, like, so for the last... Uh, 12 years we've been working with our producer Ted Hutt um, who has been with us since going out in style and he's done every record with us since um, he is so instrumental in being that sort of outside perspective because we're so close to it that it's hard to really it's hard to really like it's hard to see it for what it is you know like there are times when you write a song and you're like well I know that's a good song and then there are times where you're like I I just, I don't know, is this, is this, does this feel too like Irishy and cliche or whatever? And so it's nice to have Ted there to be like, no, or yes, get rid of that one. All right. Um, so it's not too tough. We have a pretty good idea of, of how we want to do things at this point. Um, but, uh, but yeah, you, you can certainly run into that when you're a band like us who has a fairly specific box that we're in as far as the Irish punk thing, you know. What's the what's the deal? What's the program for for the band coming up? We got some. Uh, there's going to be a big announcement pretty soon about what we have coming in the future. Um, we got some new stuff on the horizon. I'll say that. I don't know how much I can say at this point, um, but uh, we've got um, we've we've recorded some new stuff. 
I won't get into specifics about what it is, but it, I'm it is so very excited about it. It's going to be a very different thing than people are used to hearing from us, but in a great way, I think. Um, and it's going to be really exciting. We announced that pretty soon, and I'm super excited about what that's going to be. It's good to have, uh, after all these years, some exciting news. Yeah, yeah. Exciting stuff, you know? Absolutely. And to, and to go, uh, and to come out of the studio with a batch of songs that you look at and go, I'm proud of us. You know, like that's, that's an amazing feeling. Um, so I'm really excited for people to hear, one, what it is we've done in the first place, and two, um, uh, to hear the music that, that's coming with it. Can't wait. What about tour? Uh, is there, are there any place that you, you want to, to tour and travel? You know, we've been so many places. Um, I don't know. I can't say specifically. I mean, we love uh, so all the places. We we're so glad to be back in Europe. I can't wait to just, um, I'm, I guess I'm most excited about being here and playing uh, the new songs from Turn Up That Dial for people. And then once we announce what's going to be happening in the near future, getting to play some other new songs for people. Um, um, you know, so I'm, I mean, I'm just thankful that we're back to work. <laughs> you know, so I'll go anywhere. I'm excited to go everywhere. Ant Antarctic or whatever. Anywhere. Santa Claus up at the North Pole. Let's do it. Uh, do you consider uh, your uh, bandmates like as friends? Is because sometimes you know in, the, in rock bands, it's not about brotherhood. Sometimes it's maybe just business. You yeah, know? I mean, you bands. It's easy for bands to get to a point where uh, it it's not for friends in a basement playing anymore. You know, it like becomes a, a business. We're incredibly lucky in that we're the most sort of. I mean, now granted, I haven't experienced all the other bands that there are out there uh, in the touring world. However, I can say with some confidence that we are one of the most sort of familial bands that you'll ever see as far as like the guys in the band, the guys in the crew, like our crew guys are our are, are family, um, you know, uh, uh, like I, I, I'd be hard pressed to name more than like five friends that aren't in our crew, you know what I mean? Like they're my best friends in the world. Um, the guys, the guys in the, we all, us, us guys in the band all get along like family and, and uh, it's the best possible situation for something like this. Uh, so it's, it's great, yeah, great. <laughs> and uh, is there any surprise tonight? Any surprises tonight? Uh, well, if people saw us at Hellfest last year, they would have noticed that, that there was a lot of fire and uh, you can't do fire one year and then not do it again the next time that you come through. So people can expect some flames tonight, uh, for sure. Um, but uh, other than that, we're just going to give them the. We're going to give them. You know, it's our last show before we go home for a week. So any energy that's left in the tank is going to be expended in this hundred degree heat out in front of everybody. So um, as far as personal expectations, you can expect me to be a sweaty heap of garbage lying on the floor after the show's all done. I'm going to give it my all, I promise. <laughs>